Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we will discuss geometrical method to represent real numbers on the number line. Let's solve following questions on the board. The first one is NCRT question that is represent square root of 9.3 on the number line. And second question is represent square root of 10.25 on the number line. Let's see how we can solve these questions. Students, let's see how we can represent square root of 9.3 on the number line. To save the time, I have drawn the number line and semicircle. Let's see how we can draw this. As part of that, we follow the steps. So in step 1, we have to draw a line and we have to mark a point. So as part of that, let's mark this line and here is the point A. So in step 1, we have to draw a line and we have to mark a point A. And we have to mark a point B on this line such that AB measures 9.3 units. So let's mark this point as B. So that indicates AB is equals to 9.3 units. Now from point B, let's take a point C such that it measures 1 unit. So now B to C is 1 unit. So that means AC is equal to AB plus BC that is 9.3 plus 1 which is nothing but 10.3. Now let's identify the midpoint of AC. As you know that how to identify a midpoint of a given line segment where we have to take more than half of the radius and we have to draw the arcs with A as a center one arc and with C as a center one arc. Similarly, on the opposite direction also, we have to draw the arcs. The intersection of these two points indicates the midpoint. So, let's take, let's take A as the center and we will draw an arc such that the radius is more than half. Let's assume that it's intersecting somewhere here with A as the center. Similarly, with C as center, if you draw an arc, it intersects at a point. On the opposite side also, intersects with A and C as a center somewhere like this. Now let's join these two points like this and this point where the point is intersecting the line indicates midpoint. So therefore AO is the midpoint of the line segment AC. Now once the midpoint is identified with AO as the radius and O as the center draw a semicircle like this we have to draw a semicircle with O as the center and AO as the radius. So that indicates that AO is equal to OC which is nothing but 10.3 divided by 2 as O is the center of AC. Now from point B let's draw a perpendicular such that it cuts a semicircle at a point and will mark that point as D. So now this BD is nothing but 9.3 units that is square root of 9.3 units. Here comes the question how it is. In order to prove that let's join O with D. From this we can say that OBD is a right angle triangle right and at B here is a 90 degrees. So according to Pythagoras theorem in triangle OBD, OD square is equal to OB square plus BD square. How about OD? OD value is nothing but as it is a semicircle and D is a point on the semicircle. So OD is nothing but radius which will be equals to 10.3 by 2. And OB, how to calculate OB value? So from the diagram, we can say that OB is nothing but OC minus BC. Let's write that. So OC minus BC. We know the OC value, which is nothing but 10.3 upon 2 minus BC is nothing but 1 unit. Let's substitute that. It will be 10.3 minus 2 upon 2, which is nothing but 8.3 by 2. So let's substitute the values in this. To find out BD value, we can write it as BD is equal to square root of 
OD square minus OB square which is nothing but 10.3 upon 2 square minus 8.3 upon 2 whole square. So once you simplify this, this will be equals to square root of 9.3. So this BD indicates square root of 9.3. But our intention is to represent the square root of 9.3 on the number line. For that, we will consider from the B as the number line and we will represent B as with O. As we know that C is at one unit distance from C, from B. So let's mark one more point here with E. Let's extend this line further and this point will be F. Now with BD as the radius and P as the center, draw a semicircle, draw an arc, it cuts the number line that is starting from O at a point and let's mark that point as G. This B2G indicates square root of 9.3. In this way we can represent any positive square root number on the number line. Students, let's look into the second question. Represent square root of 10.25 on the number line. Let's see how we can solve this. In order to save the time, I have drawn this. Let's see how we can do this. As part of step 1, we will draw a line and we will mark point A. Now, from point A, at a distance of 10.25 units, let's mark one more point as B. That means AB is equal to 10.25 units. From B at 1 unit distance we will mark one more point that is C. So BC is 1 unit or we can write it as AC is equal to AB plus BC which will be equals to 10.25 plus 1 that is 11.25 units. Now let's find the midpoint of AC. In order to find out the midpoint of AC let's draw an arc with A as the center and more than half the radius, more than half the distance as radius. So let's draw an arc from A as the center and one more arc with C as the center. These two arcs intersect at a point. Similarly, on the opposite direction as well, let's draw two arcs. When, when you join these two intersecting point, it cuts the line at a point and will mark that point as O. Now, AO is nothing but 11.25 divided by 2 as O is the midpoint of AC. Now, O is nothing but midpoint of line segment AC. Now, this AO as a radius and O as the center draw a semicircle. So, it looks like this, the semicircle. For semicircle, O is the center and AO and OC indicates radius of this semicircle. So, AO and OC values are equal. That will be equals to 11.25 by 2. Now, let's draw a perpendicular from point B such that it cuts the semicircle at a point and will mark that point as D. Now, this BD indicates square root of 10.25. So, BD is square root of 10.25. In order to prove that, let's join O with D. Now, OBD is a right angle triangle and right angle is at B. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, OD square, hypotenuse square is equal to OB square that is base plus perpendicular that is BD square. Or from this we can write it as BD square is equal to OD square minus OB square. OD is nothing but radius of the semicircle. So which will be equals to 11.25 by 2. And OB value we can calculate it as OC minus BC. And OC is nothing but it also indicates the radius of the semicircle so we can write it as 11.25 by 2 minus bc is nothing but one unit which is going to be 9.25 upon 2 so let's substitute these values in this 
so b the square is equal to 11.25 by 2 whole square minus ob is 9.25 by 2 whole square let's simplify further so it will be 126.5625 minus 85.5625 as it is 2 square so it will be 4 which will be equals to 41 by 4 or we can write it as 10.25 therefore BD is square root of 10.25 now let's represent this 10.25 on the number line for that we will consider a number line and we will take B as the center so let's mark this as O as we know that C is at unit distance 1 let's mark one more point as E which represents 2 let's extend further and F indicates 3 now with BD as the radius and B as the center draw an arc it cuts the number line at a point let's mark that point as B P then B to P distance indicates square root of 10.25 in this way we can represent any positive square root number on the number line in next session we will discuss different properties of the real numbers we will also discuss identities with respect to square root of the given number please feel free to provide your questions or comments in comment section thank you for listening